Hello guys, another video from my car as of Friday on this channel and today will be a video of appreciation of the unsung heroes among us, developers who are doing a lot of non-visual and unseen and I would call it invisible work. So what do I mean by that? Recently I've been talking quite a lot on Twitter about automated tests and general automation and security and reliability, especially for bigger projects, which is more important than the delivery of features. And I got a lot of comments and replies around that. People were saying that basically developers are appreciated and evaluated based on the amount of features they deliver for business, for customers. And that has always been this way, which is logical if you think about it. How do you evaluate the developer or any professional for that matter when they release something, right? So that's one part of the story, write code to release a new feature. But for that feature to be still stable and the project to be stable for a while after that feature is released, there's a lot of invisible work, like for example, writing tests, like the whole infrastructure, like extra security layer, extra validation for less obvious edge cases and stuff like that. So quite often developers are not appreciated enough for that, or even worse, compared to other developers, to other colleagues, they are seen as worse performers because those guys are releasing features left and right and this guy is busy just writing tests. Basically nothing to show. But I want to kind of motivate you to do that just from internal perspective. The truth is that the world of software actually rely on you guys, on those of you who are doing a lot of so-called invisible work without even being asked to. So whenever possible, we should feel the internal obligation to make our software more reliable. And not even the current software, but generally adopt the habits to create the software in a reliable way for future jobs, for future opportunities and the future projects that we will work with. Even if the current project, the current job and the current employer doesn't directly pay for that. So a typical argument of tests take more time and therefore should cost more and you cannot directly sell that to the client. For example, if you tell to the client that the project would cost a thousand dollars, but if we write tests, then it would cost a thousand and two hundred. That's of course random numbers, but basically 20% more. A typical client would refuse. But if you rephrase the message and include the price of testing inside of the final price without emphasizing the automated test or thinking about them as internal required way to do that, then there's no conversation about separate payment for testing. Of course, another problem would be that you may be more expensive compared to other vendors who would not maybe write tests. So if you are competing on price, maybe it is the problem. But maybe another way to look at that is that you may make some discount on the price, like extra 10% instead of 20% and cover the cost of writing tests yourselves partially in the vision of staying with that client with a reliable project for longer. And writing tests is just one example of doing the things like static analysis, like DevOps, like server management, like basically taking care of the infrastructure and stability and reliability of the project, which is not that much to show to the client. But if we don't invest in reliable software, then who else will? So yeah, a bit of philosophical video, but I want to appreciate the guys who are doing that invisible work, especially if they are not praised for it or don't get paid for it, but feel the obligation to do that. And another kind of alternative way, the final thought for this video, it's not black and white. It's not write zero test or write full test coverage for the full project. Just try to put extra five to 10% of time to write the essential tests for the crucial parts of the application. And that alone may be much more important and very beneficial to compare with zero tests at all. So basically do something useful for reliability of the projects in the future. What do you think? Have you ever encountered the scenario that you are underappreciated or underpaid compared to the colleagues, developers who are doing less work on reliability and more work on just releasing shiny new features? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.